The project of this exhibition began in a way very early when I came to live in Beirut in 2014 and I saw an exhibition in IUB uh, curated by Angela Autonian and Nat Muller where I noticed very, very much a painting by Daniel and uh, there was something very specific in someone accepting a commission about time with painting. Um, so I get in touch with Daniel and during the year we met several times and I made a few studio visits. We began to talk about a possible project. I told her I was very interested in painting but not any condition of painting and not showing it in any condition. And that's how we began to work about something that would be an installation about painting but about yours. So I was really excited to start uh, thinking about a project when I first met with Marie and um, you know through our conversations the idea of thinking about the, the show in the space um, very specifically and actually using the architecture and the conditions of how you moved through the space um, to actually add another layer to the work itself and, and actually create an experience where you could um, see the work. Project Slow Light really came about um, through, through working with the relationship specifically of photography um, and painting, and I'll, and I'll say also drawing actually, but really using the image as the starting point and then working on the image itself to, to see how it um, can either be intensified or shift through a kind of translation in media. The way I usually work uh, with painting, actually, the, the origin really is an image, I find. And actually, the works in this show, they each have a slightly different starting point. Um, so I think there's a there's this sort of tendency for people always to want to try to locate um, the place or the subject of the of the paintings. And in fact, it's, it's actually trying to do, in a way, the contrary. In a way, it's actually trying to put um, place, if you want, or image into the background so that there's a certain uh, kind of visual experience and perception of light that, that becomes foregrounded. Um, and so the oldest uh, pieces are, are based on photographs that I took um, uh, all over the world, actually, um, and then reworked and combined to create either a sense of um, a, a glow in the middle and a sort of losing the center to go towards, towards a, a periphery. Um, other works deal with, with the, the sort of unfixedness or fr fragility of an image, so an image that sort of loses its connection to its original, its origin, actually. So, you know, the relationship between painting and photography has now a very long story. Uh, maybe it's specific here, uh, even if you're not describing Lebanese landscape, and it's very important that the places are not specific. You are, you say that you are like giving a second life to a photograph through painting and slowing down somehow the phenomenon of photography. And uh, this visual information that you are gathering each time and playing with and disturbing and threatening sometimes is very much at stake, especially in the diptych that we have in the compressed space where you have the same landscape that is at some point a small colorful landscape and a big gray one, same image but different condition. And the most important, the first, the, how do you say, the premier plan is blurred as if we were passing by very quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a, a speed blurring that appears very, very carefully in the image and is where you have something that your eye is providing you very often, but that you are never giving back when you draw a place. You don't draw it blur at, at a point and precise at another point. And these two speed together are, and this diptych for me is a very important piece also. It's an introduction to the room where we are standing now. Uh, so one of the, the main parts of our conception of, of the exhibition was that actually you would have a kind of visual experience that shifted as you moved through the space. So 
we chose to put um, some of the older works, um, actually right in the front you're confronted by a screen print that's actually quite heavily layered that really deals with the photograph directly. Um, and then the show really begins as you move through a really um, a kind of large uh, tunnel type space that includes two light boxes and a film at the end. I mean, the idea with that was really to actually start with a space where your eyes could become quite sensitized to both light and to image. And so, so there are images there um, that are also layered, that are slightly moving, that have small shifts, but that are really kind of created um, uh, in a way through light itself, right? So it's a kind of material light. Um, and then as you move through that tunnel, you come to a compressed space um, with two, it, two images, a very large painting that's quite difficult to see because of the space itself, and a very small painting that is quite saturated but difficult to see because of the light. And from there you entered into a, the kind of last space in the show, a very large room that has a beautiful kind of natural light, um, very quiet, um, that contains the, that where we're sitting right now that contains all the paintings and, and the plan was that by the time you got here actually your eyes have gotten used to reacting in a way to small shifts and to, and to this quality of light and so that when you start seeing the, the paintings it's in that uh, kind of physical state that you begin looking.